Hello everyone, welcome to Gantam Guruji. So this is a special video on request. Actually there are so many uh, subscribers, uh, they want to know how to give a vacuum space and how suppose uh, you have a material and how we can cleave those material in a specific surface or a specific plane and how we can give the you know the empty space in those uh, in between layers how we can do that so this video is totally about how to give uh, how to design a, a like you know material uh, in a specific plane how we can cleave it and how we can give us uh, empty space between them okay so let's get started so first what we'll do is we'll take some you know material 3d material what we'll do is go to this import menu and here we'll, I will take some of the structures from the example uh, it's there in the example no so maybe it will be there in the structures so we'll take some metal oxide for example suppose I'm taking this AG2O fine just an example okay so this is an AG2O lattice I'll make it better so that you can see it I'll make it ball stick model I'll give you that is so that we'll see it fine hope you can see this lattice right this is just the unit cell you can extend it in any direction so that you can see it right this is the 22 lattice of this AG2 right now you suppose you want to cleave this lattice in a specific direction suppose 0, 0, 001 direction or 110 one, direction okay so any direction if you want to cleave this lattice what we'll do is first what you can do is go to the um, build menu and here you can see this surface right in this surfaces uh, click on the cleave surface okay once you are clicking on the cleave surface in this clip plane this is the plane where you have to give the you know the values in terms of edge scale which are in terms of miller indices suppose you want to cleave your plane in 0, 0, 001 direction or 100 0, 0 direction 110 0, 0, whatever way you want to cleave you can cleave depending on the you know the reactive surface or whatever things are known in the literature suppose here i am taking 10 0, uh, 0 this is the plane i am taking over here okay fine and there are certain options over here that what you want to be the thickness of your uh, you know the nano sheet because if it is a 3d uh, system if you are cleaving it you'll be getting a two-dimensional system right and here this is the thickness suppose in this system the this distance between this atom and this atom is the thickness of that unit cell right so we'll see how much it is we can find out from here it is around four point seven two zero angstrom right so if suppose you are cleaving this in the thickness you are giving half of this what will happen like cleaving will be till here only so you'll be having this oxygen and this two atoms of silver kind of thing okay so we want a little bit more uh, of the elements and the these boundings so what we'll do we'll take four point seven two thickness at least one unit cell thickness will take and other than that, uh, you have having you can use some cleaving rule. Generally, we use default and cap on bands. Okay, so if you want to, um, you know, put some capping on the cleaving side with hydrogen, oxygen, something, you can do it. Generally, we don't do it. Neither we take. Okay, we don't want to do any capping. That is the perturbation from some other elements. Okay, or you can use same elements. This is not required until it is important. So after doing this click on the clip surface once you have done you will be getting that specific surface now again you go to the display style and here you first make the lattice this white to give some color here so that you can see this lattice so this is your now 100 plane of this uh, AG2O lattice now you can increase this see in that case you are having a three uh, crystallographic axis XYZ right here you are having two only because this is the two dimensional slab that's all fine so what people need is they need uh, some you know some space in third dimension so that they can calculate they will be having some surface so what we have to do that to get that go to the build menu and 
in the build menu in the crystals you can see the uh, build vacuum slab click here and in this case you first you have to select in which direction you have to give the vacuum slab suppose this material is in the xy plane you can check it uh, what is the direction of this plane is this belongs to we can make it in any direction since it is two dimension only so you can see it's in the xy plane now the z axis the g axis is the perpendicular or the c is the perpendicular to this right so what we'll do is uh, this is the vacuum thickness what thickness you want to give generally uh, we give thickness more than tang angstrom so that uh, interaction between those layers will be minimal generally to avoid these uh, like if you want to have a uh, like uh, you want to study the interaction between those layers then obviously you have to give the lesser uh, thickness if you want to study just the two dimensional nano sheet then the thickness has to be more than 10 angstrom at least in between uh, 10 to 15 so that there is no uh, interaction generally 10 is also fine there will be no interaction like no covalent interaction or no weak interaction in that range so that is okay so i will choose 10 angstrom this is angstrom in angstrom unit and i will click on the build okay so you can see now in the g axis uh, we have given 10 angstrom uh, vacuum thickness so the next lay like next seat will be coming on the top of this see now the third axis has come so next if you are clicking see now the distance between these two layers are uh, in such a way so that they are not interacting each other so in a way it is a two dimensional nano seat of one two three four uh, around four atom thickness hope you understood right so this is the way to uh, um, design a uh, nano material or a two dimensional seat out of a 3d material by cleaving in a certain direction in a miller indices and how to give the you know this uh, vacuum slab in between them this is the way so if you have any doubt pertaining to this specific thing you can ask in my comment box or if you want to know certain uh, you know some other topic to be covered uh, just put in the comment box or write it to me uh, i'll check it out thank you for watching the video